Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter three, lesson two of our ecosystem restoration unit. Let's go ahead and continue our learning. So let's reread page 10 in the book we just read, Walk in the Woods. In order to become part of the soil, dead plants and animals need to decompose. What makes them decompose? Decomposers, which are organisms that break dead things down into smaller and smaller pieces. Decomposers add nutrients and other matter to the soil. There are lots of different kinds of decomposers, including millipedes, slugs, sow bugs, fungi, and earthworms. Most decomposers are bacteria and other organisms that are too small to see without a microscope. So we read about these important organisms called decomposers. So I want you to answer this question. What do these organisms do in an ecosystem? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson two activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you could think about the answer in your head. Go ahead, pause the video to answer question four now. Now let's relook at page 15 in our books. The caption will help us visualize how small bacteria are. Most decomposers are microbes like these bacteria. Let's reread the caption. This photo of bacteria was taken through a microscope. All of the bacteria in this picture could actually fit on the period at the end of the sentence, but the picture has been made much bigger so you can see the bacteria. The word that scientists use to describe what these organisms do to the dead matter is decompose, and decompose means to break down. What are some of the decomposers that we learned about in this book? To answer this question, you can write your answer in your chapter three, lesson two activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer question five now. One important vocabulary word we've been using in this chapter is decomposer. That means an organism that breaks down droppings or dead organisms. We read about many things that make up soil. And based on what we read, what new understandings do you have? Be sure to record your ideas. We read that there are many things living and non-living that make up the matter in soil. Part of why scientists use the term soil is that it includes all of these things. Another important vocabulary word that we have been using this chapter is soil. And soil is a mixture of rocks, water, air, parts of dead organisms, and tiny living organisms. This concludes lesson two. I'll see you in lesson three.